Hi everybody, Lana Lamb here with another Deco Art Craft Minute. Today I'm going to show you how to do a bokeh effect for a really cool background. I've got some examples of bokeh effect here that I've done with different tools. This side I have done with these pouncers, these sponge pouncers here. And this side I've done with a stencil. As you can see, um, I did a varying colors and the ones closest are darker and then I put a chain link fence over it so you can tell that that is in the background. Here is the same effect only with a different color. It makes the lights in the background appear a little bit closer to us. And then this one really pushes that effect way back into the background. Um, some of these are blurred out because they're even farther away than the ones that are more solid. Plus, our background here is blurred out. That is also considered a bokeh effect. So, let's do this with these tools that I have. I'm going to first start with a paintbrush. Just load your paint. You can offload a little bit onto a paper towel if you want to, just to get it off of the tip. And then just paint in a circle. Well, I'm going to need a little bit more paint than that. Just paint in your circle, any size that you want. Remove the excess paint. And now I'm just going to come in here and blur out around the circle to make it look farther away. Just remove the excess paint and then you'll just kind of dry brush and blur out those edges. You can keep it a nice solid line if you want and keep it more pronounced. So now I'm going to do it with a stencil. Again, load your brush. I'm going to offload some of that off of the tip there. And then you're just going to do your stencil. If you want a more transparent look or a more blended into the background look, you can certainly add a little bit of your background color or um, add some glazing medium to your paint. That will help make them a little bit more transparent and then build your layers up as you do that. And then finally, we're just going to use one of these pouncers. I do want to have it a little bit damp, so I'm going to get a little moisture in it and take the excess moisture out and load the pouncer. Offload onto a paper towel as well. And then with these, you're just going to spin it and get your circles like this. And again, you can bring a um, paintbrush in and blur out the edges if you want them more blurred. Plus, you could also come in with other colors and create washes of colors on top of these for a very vibrant look. Bokeh effect can be any colors, bright colors, bold colors, or muted colors. You can have so much fun with it. So grab some paints and start playing with a new bokeh effect background.